my lovelies welcome back to my channel in this video you are going to be learning how to sew with your end so i'm going to be teaching you the basic stitches there uh so number one you need your scissors you need your thread and this is why i'm going to be using you to show you a trading hack so stay tuned you have different types of needle you have the smallest size you have the medium size and the biggest size that long yes for a dressing needle but we only in the middle one for the more easy way out now i know most people have issues with threading so this is a simple hack that you can use to get your thread into your needle so bend it like so then put it through and um yes you put it through then put your thread into the loop that you've created right like so and drag it out when you have taken a certain amount out you can now drag the wire out of the needle hole like so and then you tie your needle that's simple so i'm going to be reading out like about two lines to work on now the first one you're going to be learning is running stitches so just like the name implies running stitches so just put your thread into your fabric like so after tying a knot of course at the end of your thread you take it again into the fabric and out like so it depends on how wide you want the running stitches to be take it again like so like so you keep on going running stitch is really used to create gathers or loose sewing basically nothing that serious then you can keep going instead of bringing it out and in and out like so just keep putting your thread your needle into your fabric till you get to your limits like that and then for your gathers you basically just pull the thread like this and then you have your gathers and you know you can tie a knot at the end of your you know stitches like so but because i'm not trying to create gathers i'm just going to you know go over the thread twice to create a knot at the end of my stitches now the next one is the back stitch right this is for more serious projects you need to join two fabrics together this is your go-to stitch for those of you that do not have a sewing machine but you want to start doing little projects this is your go-to so so to achieve this you need to always take your needle back into the last trading you did like so then bring it out at the front of the current trade like that take it out so you go again back then front making the thread at the center like so so basically it's a back stitch so you keep going like the name implies you keep going to the back as you can see it has created like a close sewing at the back so for it to be almost impossible to lose except you do not you know tie the ends of your thread well if you are like me and you forget to actually tie your hand you can simply just cut the needle off and tie make a tooth knot at the end of the fabric to hold your stitches in place yeah so the next one is the chain stitch i like to cover it, call it the cover stitch basically used to cover up uh, fabrics that are free at the edges or to make your inside sewing knitter basically a finishing stitch so all you just need to do is to take your needle into the front part of your fabric to make sure that it comes out at the back of the cloth then take the needle in inside the circle of the thread form automatically creating a chain stitch over the edge of your fabric in order to stop it from fraying basically again you take your needle in front to make sure it comes out at the back then take the same needle take it inside like so thread like so then tie it continue the process till you get to the limit of your fabric you can now see that um your the edge of your fabric is well covered it has stopped it from fraying and it finally the last but not the least um the blind hem stitch is basically to finish up the you know outside edge of your clothes 
um, so let's do it you are going to have to make a thread longer than the other like you've seen right now so fold the edge of your piece and you know take your thread in like so secure it then take the needle through the folded M like so pass it out and then go back on the main fabric again pick little you know yarn of the fabric almost as little as invisible do you understand then take it back into the folded edge like so create a knot then go again into the folded m making like a disappearing you know stitch like so go back on the main fabric pick the tiniest yarn from the fabric when i say yarn it's just like thread from the fabric why you are doing is why you are doing this is to make your you know stitch invisible as possible at the front part of your you know piece or garment or whatever you are making i'm going to show you now so you keep going like that till you get to the limit of your you know piece so now take a look at the back so if i was using the exact color of this fabric you will not even see any sewing but because it's black thread that's why you can see those dots like that so yeah we have come to the end of this video thank you for watching and if you have not subscribed make sure you subscribe before leaving here now mm -hmm. put on your notification to know when i post my next video girl guy you're on your way to making your own clothes see you in my next video bye